what's up guys and welcome back to the channel i'm a little sad today yeah i'm a little sad my baby's sick she's down uh the bike is down for repair now guys i'm sure you you've all remember when i say you know um these bikes are built tough these bikes are built to last and i'm still standing by that but sometimes you gotta upgrade yeah sometimes you gotta upgrade and you know to be competitive and keep up with you know all the new parts you know just technology in general especially when it comes to you know these bikes you have to have to have to stay up on things that are coming out from different companies you can't think last year's um you know parts are going to be just as good as the parts a year from now or two years from now that's not going to happen um just by changing a couple of parts you gain horsepower um some of us look for horsepower um some of, sometimes we look for just weight savings different like different things like that to keep us competitive to keep us going faster and faster now uh, my baby's on life support right now, man. I got, you know, we got IVs and plugs and everything else running to this bike, but it's all for good reason, you know. Um, went in to get some work done, and, you know, we, we came up with a plan. He said, well, we're not going to be the same bike we were last year. You know, I, I, don't, I don't change any motor size or nothing like that, but there's other little things that I need to upgrade to keep this bike um, competitive and i think it's competitive because um i know how the bike runs on its best day i know the numbers i know the horsepower i know all that stuff and i feel like other bikes in my class are about those same competitive numbers now i'm gonna slide over i'm gonna let you see that you know baby sick you know there's a hole in there there's a hole in there yeah the cylinders and everything are still on here you know the pistons are still in there but there's other things you have to take into consideration that sometimes just may need to be upgraded. Sometimes you don't have the best of the best when they make better. You know, um, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Now, this is not for the average Joe out there, you know, the average weekend warrior, because you might not want your bike going down and you might not want you know to to always try and put new parts in it because you might not be racing like that you might not be trying to go different places to find other competitors to compete with it's not for everybody it's not cheap by any means either so just something to think about but i don't think my channel is based on average joe i think my channel is based on being competitive um you know we are competitive on a whole nother level we can go to the racetrack and run these bikes and show some very very fast times and competitive numbers but not all the time that's where it counts right you guys aren't always playing around at the track most of the times you guys are you know running down the highway with your buddies and that's when you like to kind of like give him the head nod and you go ahead and play with the bike well i set my bike up strategically and strictly for the streets not to say that I'm out here street racing and all those different things every weekend with guys. Nah, that's not what I'm doing. My bike is a highway bike. It rides anywhere. It goes anywhere. Uh, and then I can get down and really race the bike and make it go fast. And, you know, with just, um, you know, a, a change of, you know, suspension, a few parts or, you know, just a, a, a little setup. But that's it. I don't have to touch my engine. I don't have to touch, it, touch anything else because my bike's already set and ready to ride. Um, tires are always going to be the same. I'm not changing out wheels. I'm not doing anything other than that. Um, nothing crazy, right? So, like I said, guys, sometimes when technology shows you there's something better out there, uh, if it makes sense to you, do it. If it doesn't make sense, don't do it. But a lot of the times it will make sense because people know how to make these bikes go faster and faster i will refuse to take the same things i had last year and try and apply them to next year because other guys are out there doing the same thing now i'll be honest with you i could use an upgrade on the heads and that's what we did we sent those heads out to upgrade and maybe pick up a few horsepower now you know it could take up to a month i don't know 
we're, 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 we're guessing here. We don't, nobody knows exactly how much. You don't know where you're at in the waiting list, man. There's no poof pow and put me in the front of the line. It doesn't work like that. I don't care who you are. If you have real competitive bikes and, you know, everybody's at your shop, you don't have time to put your favorite guy in front of everybody else. I don't care. Sometimes guys like to pay extra. It doesn't work like that in a real sense of things. So I'm like, at, at, at this point, you know, the bike's down. I really don't have any more content for you guys. I can't ride. Um, I don't know what to do. I mean, if I, if I brought a bicycle out here, I could probably go over and make a few videos on it, but that ain't what you guys came for. So I gotta figure something out. Um, I really have to figure something out because I want you guys to have content. I don't want you guys to get bored. I want you guys to be able to come every week and know you're going to get a video. Well, I had an epiphany. Yeah, I had an epiphany. I said to myself, hmm, who has an extra bike that they're probably not using? You know, because it doesn't make sense for these bikes to sit. Um, who has an extra bike that they're probably not using and that would let me borrow it? Hey, these ain't cheap. Uh, I wouldn't just put anybody on my bike and say, go let her rip. Yeah, uh, something happened. Somebody's got to pay for it. So, you know, I just sit back and I'm thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking. I'm like, who? here the next rider the next one up for bat bro something like that hey what's up guys so listen man i've, I've been done a favor bro y'all see that thing over there i've yeah, been done yeah. a favor hey i think we gotta we got some things to say though we gotta we gotta talk about something real quick all right I'm trying to sell this thing <laughs> this is this is a badass event this is a 21 right 22 22 we did a video on it uh we didn't really get too much in the detail but I'm gonna get in the detail. Just, get, just keep watching this video. So, the reason why the bike is here, because you know, hand delivered by the man himself. Because if y'all see some shit over there, it's a loaner bike, man. It's a loaner bike. <laughs> hey, so these type of bikes, we kind of feel like you know they should be ridden. You know what I mean? He's got so many bikes, he really don't ride it. This bike got five thousand miles on it, and you know I don't think he really put too many, you know, miles on it this year. No. So. So, so I'm going I'm gonna take over for a little bit because my bike is down. Now my bike ain't down because it's fucked up. It's down because we want it to be down right now, and I I can't talk too much about it. I know I'll say this: we're doing a hydraulic clutch uh, upgrade, and we're doing some other upgrades. My motor's not out, guys. You see, my motor's not in there. But I don't know if the man wants to tell what we're doing. No, nah, man, we're just doing a little bit of head upgrade. Yeah, but see, they don't understand. When you are being competitive, you kind of got to stay with like competitive parts, yeah, you know, you got to stay up to date. So that's where we're at on my bike. 
But for now, in the meantime, we are gonna be on the CBO, man. Badass 130, another badass 130. Hey, you wanna tell somebody about it a little bit? Well, it's a nice bike, it's 170 horsepower on pump gas. Um, runs good, it's quiet, and it sends that. You don't feel like you're riding a bike that has 170 horsepower unless you get on the throttle. So the bike's for sale. Yeah. I DM me for, or DM George, for the price because i don't think we really want to get into that right now because i don't want to hear the shit. but the bike's got everything wheels suspension tires the motor uh everything that he personally does to his personal bikes you know you guys asked me about um the handlebars and different things like that but this bike's got the best of the best man you can't it's a 130 right now but we can easily upgrade it before the sale to a 143 uh for not not too much Woo. more money Woo. it comes Woo. with a matching door pack i bought an extra front fairing for it just in case this one got chipped down the line mm. it's brand new in the box uh there's not a scratch bike's never been dropped it's got ryd wheels got for rotors and this is the one where like you don't see you know the flames until you you know you got to be up on this bike and then it comes to life so brakes rotors Motor. It's um, clean. It looks like a sleeper if you really look at the bike. Yeah, like man. Like I said, it, it doesn't feel like a race bike. Um, nice, mellow until you get on the gas. She pulls all the way to seven thousand. Woo! 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 So this is a competitive bike, guys. If you guys are interested, like I said, hit me up or hit George up, and it's got a seventeen in the back, so it's already set up for a sticky tire. <laughs> right now it's got a dull lock, but you can run a, a sticky tire. And you took this bike to Sturgis too, right? Yeah, they was up there riding this bike, you know, just an extra bike to have up there. But this is an everyday. This is a daily rider right here, but it's a screamer. So we'll find out. You make sure you make another video on it. Ah! <laughs> what would you look at that? George to the rescue. Um, you guys see, uh, brought me a badass bike. Hang on to it for a little bit, man. Have fun with it. That's what he told me. And I said, you know what? Let's put some miles on it. Let's keep it you know, fresh. Let's keep the, 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 the gas fresh in it. Let's at least try and, you know, keep the, keep the dry rod off the tires because, you know, he has, you know, four or five bikes and none of them are going to be getting used weekly. You know, everybody works. People got things to do. People got kids. So if you got a good friend like that and he dropped something off like this to you, be grateful, be thankful. I appreciate him for that. So now I want to do content on this bike. Now, they're different but similar setups. I really think this bike is going to be a real fun bike to ride. It's kind of, like I said, set up with suspension and different things like that that are similar to my bike. Uh, I already noticed it's a little lower. It's a little quieter. So maybe I can get into something like this and see how, you know, it actually rips. I really want to take the bike out and play with it. I'm not going to beat on it because it's not mine to do but I will have some fun with it and I do want to bring some content with it. Now, we did say that bike is for sale. Now, you can hit either one of us up on Instagram, guys. That's kind of really the only way to get information that we can't tell. Um, if somebody were to buy this, they might not want all the information out there at the time. You've seen this bike race before. Um, it was actually in Atlanta. He did have a race with a, a, a few guys out there and a bike won every time. <laughs> So it is a competitive bike. This bike has everything on it, and it's very, very low mileage. Remember, this is a 2022 CVO. This was one of the hard colors to get. Um, it has the green and black with the flame in it, but from behind the bike, in certain angles of the bike, the bike just looks black. You'll never even see the flames until you kind of catch those angles. Another one of those things that Harley did, but a badass bike. I'm going to take it out today as long as this weather holds up, and I'm going to have some fun with it. Yeah, guys, I'm going to have some fun with it. So the whole moral of the story, keep up with the times, be patient, and <laughs> even when she's sick like that, man, you got to still take care of her. Um, I'm going to keep you guys posted and updated on what is going on with the bike, what we're actually, you know, putting in the bike. Um, but remember, guys, I still have competition out there, so I can only go so far with the information I'm given. Remember, I'm not the mechanic. George is so when he tells me certain things I will bring it to you we will stay posted on this bike until she goes into recovery 
then we can really put it back out there on the street and we'll let her rip. So, until the meantime, the new green CVO with the flames are going to be our new workhorse. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Guys, I hope you have questions. Go ahead and drop them down in the comment section. I don't mind if they're personal questions that you guys don't want everybody else to see. Hit me on the real official Mac, Instagram, Instagram, Instagram. Uh, guys, until the next time, like, subscribe. Please start subscribing. We're almost at 20K. Hopefully, we can get there soon. Peace.